As usual, there are a ton of stats in a poll, so I'm only going to focus on a few questions that I think are the most interesting. Um, so you can see what they do is there's a list of statements that they read to people, and then Canadians were asked, from what you have seen, read, or heard, do you agree or disagree with each of the following statements? All right. I'm going to skip the first question, and I'll come back to it later. So let's start with this one. The government of the People's Republic of China should take responsibility for its role in the COVID-19 outbreak. So then people are asked if they agree or disagree. Pretty straightforward and to the point, isn't it? And look at these amazing answers. Strongly agree, 40%. Moderately agree, another 32%. So that's 72% who agree in some way. That's overwhelming. Only 9% of Canadians moderately disagree and only 9% strongly disagree. In the next column, you can see that men are slightly more critical of China than women are. Women are slightly less, sure, but the numbers are pretty similar by sex. By age, there's a little bit more of a difference. Let's compare millennials. 37% strongly agree. People my age, Gen X, it's 46%. But again, it's overwhelming in every age group. And look by regions, British Columbians are likely to strongly agree that China's to blame, 42%. That's more than any other region except the Atlantic. It's interesting because there's such a large Chinese-Canadian population in BC. I guess they know what China's really like. Last point, by political persuasion. So how people voted in the previous election. Conservatives are the most hostile to China, 47%. Strongly agree. But liberals aren't that fine, far behind, 42%. Strongly agree with that statement. Those are Canadians who say they strongly agree China's to blame. Add in the moderately agree Canadians, liberals are at 73%, conservatives are at 81%. So again, both are very high. It's not unanimous though, but I challenge you to show me something else so overwhelming like this, so lopsided like this in public opinion, other than the obvious and perhaps related question of restricting out of control immigration, which is also in this 80% range. Now let me show you the next question on the poll, which is a bit radical, a bit cheeky, Probably a legal non-starter, but so what? It's a good barometer for public opinion, and that's what we're doing here. From what you have seen, read, or heard, do you agree or disagree with each of the following statements? The government of Canada should consider launching legal action against the People's Republic of China on account of the COVID-19 outbreak. Like I said, we don't really sue countries. Uh, countries have something called sovereign immunity. But it's not unprecedented, and I think we can use suing countries as a proxy for other legal means like sanctions or taking away certain trade privileges from treaties with China. So it's a bit radical, but let's look anyways. 20% of Canadians are strongly for this. Another 11% are moderately for it. So a total of 31%. It's not a majority, but it's a sizable chunk. 22% are against it, 27% of People are strongly against it. So 49% of people are against this. Not quite half. Still more than those who want to sue China. But the very question would have been unthinkable four months ago. Don't you think? This shows that Canadians are open to radical solutions to deal with China, even if this isn't the right solution. It's very interesting to me. The one group of Canadians that's ready to rumble is, not surprisingly, conservatives. There are a total of 42% of conservative voters strongly or moderately support the idea, and 38% oppose it. Here's a quirky BC-style question that was thrown in. Do you agree that more people will consider adopting vegetarian or vegan diets after the COVID-19 outbreak ends? Now, that's sort of confusing to me. I guess that implies that bats were at the root of this, or that wet markets were people in China go to buy and eat wild animals and things like that. That's a Vancouver question asking about vegetarianism, isn't it? Not a lot of people say yes to that, but funny enough, the highest numbers in Alberta and with conservatives. Now, I said I'd come back to the first question, and here it is. Do you agree or disagree with this? It is acceptable to refer to COVID-19 as the Chinese virus or Chinese flu. Well, overwhelmingly, people said no. 53% of people are strongly against that, and 22% more are moderately against that. NDPers are the most adamant. Quebecers and conservatives have the highest support for using those words. I'm not too surprised by this. First of all, most people just plain old say the virus or 
coronavirus or COVID-19. So it, it has a name that's becoming commonplace. Uh, and I think Chinese virus is a deliberate verbal weapon that was deployed by uh, Donald Trump for political reasons only after and in specific reaction to China. Incredibly, when they tried to blame the U.S. for the virus. They were doing that. They were actually still doing that. And the thing with Trump is if you poke him, oh, he's going to poke you back five times harder. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people it comes say from it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. I and want to be accurate. So, yeah, I don't even think Trump says China virus very often, uh, just when he wants to poke at China. I think there's also a shyness effect in this poll. People don't want to tell a pollster an answer they think is politically incorrect or wrong. So those are Canadian numbers. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.